Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well today. My name is Juliette Uzo and you're welcome back to my channel. Now I am currently planning a festive sewing inspired hamper for a dear sewing friend and I want the contents of the hamper to be, you know, things that would be useful, things that get used every day, well, whilst crafting, really. And things that are relatable, things that are useful, things that would be appreciated and not the dump at the bottom of your stash kind of items. I also want them to be quite quirky and a representation of the person's style and their character. Okay, so yesterday I popped into John Lewis. Okay, so John Lewis is a departmental store here in the UK where you have all sorts of different things. There's a, a haberdashery and fabric section. I will not really class John Lewis as a place to go to when you want really interesting, quirky, fun <laughs> sewing items. However, I had this voucher that was given to me by parents of children that I taught last year. It was a gift voucher. It's been sitting in my purse for over a year now and I just had to spend it. I don't really shop at John Lewis. So I thought, well, let's use the money then. <laughs> it was a gift to me and I'm going to use it to get a gift to someone else. I will show you how I got on yesterday. I will not be buying any scissors today. <laughs> I've just found some five meter wide elastics. They're so expensive. I wish I had the paper pattern. Ooh, Tamsin. That Tamsin pattern. They do have sewing machines here, but the sewing machines, um, they don't have quite a vast variety. So, and they seem to be of a reasonable price. Let's have a look. This one here is £119. The brother one. Oh. Okay, so I have my bag here of the things that I got at John Lewis 
and I'm just going to share what I actually purchased. In here, I have interfacing. I know this is practical and it will be appreciated. I got lots of zips, long zips, shorter zips, um, metal teeth zips and just your regular coil zips. You'll notice that I have some zippers that are a lot lighter than the others. This one here is a lightweight one because it goes better with fabrics that are light, lighter weight. And this one here is not the lightweight one. And this one here is lightweight. So you can see that this one is thicker than this one. And that's the reason why I got them because I just know that sewers appreciate these little things. I also purchased some cones, some gray overlocking cones. Hear me on this. <laughs> I have learned my lesson. I've just, um, you know, earlier on in the day, I would normally buy threads of different colors, four lots of them. And I've just got too many threads. And at this stage now, I actually think white, black, and gray threads are just the best ones to have for overlocking because they go with most things, maybe beige, but white, black, and gray are just the middle ground, if that makes sense. So I got four, I got, um, was it three? I think I got three of these. I'm going to purchase an extra one online just to make it up. I got buttons. You can never have too many buttons, especially black small buttons. These are one centimeter size buttons. And then I got um, standard needles. These are just standard sewing needles. You can never ever have too many needles for the sewing machine because ideally you should change your sewing machine needle. I, I think you should change them after every major project you do. So I got um, 90, size 90 needles and 70 to 100 needle. They're just universal. I also picked up this white fabric. This is a broadery and glaze fabric. Correct me if I'm wrong. I, th I think I've said it wrong. Broderie on glaze. I have got some of this fabric. I got three meters of it because three meters is a safe number to go for when you're buying fabric for other people and you're not too sure. I also got white white because white you can you can make a beautiful blouse using this white um, fabric or a white shirt a crisp white shirt and that's the reason why I bought this I didn't buy this from John Lewis though because I'm sure it would be more expensive in John Lewis I'll tell you <laughs> all the other things that I really do want to get them because I think people who make their own clothes need um well, not a need but things there are certain things that you put in a a, a package for a person who sews that they would really appreciate. Um, I, I think things like candles, sweet smelling candles, or any sort of scent that they really do like come a long way in making them feel happy. And um, yeah, I think it's a good one to have in a package. I'm also going to add just little snacks, something luxury and something basic. <laughs> My basic is always like Percy pigs. They're not basic, but they're just like kiddie sweets, but um, some adults like them as well and she likes them. I'm also going to include some tea. It's a nice, spicy, festive kind of tea that I'm going to get. It's by Tea Pigs and I can't wait to add it to the package. I want to get um, new scissors. You can never have too many scissors, right? A nice one that's aesthetically pleasing. I'm also going to get um, a seam ripper. You can never have too many seam rippers. You can have them scattered all around your space. I mean, Okay. Also, I want to get some beautiful lining fabric because I think lining is something that needs to be spoken a bit more about. I don't know a lot about lining, but the much that I know is that if you have really good quality lining, it goes a long way in elevating your clothes if that makes sense. So I wanna get lining that is good quality, but um, fun and quirky on the inside, if you know what I mean. I'm also going to get a nice mug. I mean, uh, just a beautiful, pretty mug for uh, making tea, for um, just sitting down to craft. I have this sewing pattern and it's called um, a pussy bow shirt by Trend Patterns. This is a very, very classy or classic 
style that I think would be really appreciated. I think for this one, it needs to be made in light to medium weight cottons. So yeah, I think this would suit her so well. And I actually purchased one for myself as well because this would be, this is a great one that I want to have a go at making. So these and many more things I would add to the package. I'll take you along with me as I buy the different items. If you have any other ideas about what people can add to a package for a loved one who also enjoys crafting or sewing, leave them in the comments section below. You never know who would need your ideas. Just drop them there. I would really appreciate it. And I would actually go back there for next time. I will, I think the best thing now is to just hit the streets, right? <laughs> So here we are, we have everything all laid out now. I picked up a few more things after yesterday's trip to the stores. I like these. This is a hand and nail oil. This one here. And this one here is, um, it's, it's actually called seams and it's for people who make clothes or people who craft. And this absorbs instantly. So I thought I'll just pick these up. Hand and nail oil and hand cream for people who create clothes. It was created to care for the hardworking hands of seamstresses without leaving a greasy mark on fabrics. And that's why I like it. I also actually picked this up and this is a fancy little key ring made using, this is like a special knitting wool and it's just quite fancy. I also picked up this embroidery scissors. This is very nice actually, I really like it. I like the, the rustic look of it. So yes, this in addition to everything else I picked up yesterday, they're all going to form a hamper. I took the elastics out of their packaging because it looks nicer and I took, um, what else did I take out? the bodkins and the seam ripper because it's just a bit too bulky. I would give only the scissors, the pair of scissors, since I already have these stalk scissors. Elastics of different lengths and widths. The largest one here is about two inches wide, if I believe. This one here is one and a half inches wide. And that's the largest of them all. I'm just making them look pretty by tying them with um, festive looking ribbon. Needles are also going to get wrapped up together nicely. Needles and buttons. I've tied up the zips. All the zips are tied up. You're my best friend. 
didn't care about the rules, good on the weekends. I'll be in fools, drift in the deep space. I also picked myself this lining fabric. It's an ivory lining fabric and this would actually be for me because I need to sort out my manky old ironing board. This here is some really lush um, interfacing. It's so beautiful. Lightweight, not so lightweight, but it's just so lush. And it also stretches, so it would work with woven and non-woven fabrics. So brave and so stupid, just like the movies. How it's gonna stay in the fight with you Just thinking we would do this until we couldn't do it Each and every high, every night with you You and me so clueless We were just broken, shattered Singing along to nothing matters Stray around like nighttime rumors We were in too deep Beautiful. I must say, actually, let me put these away now because it's quite noisy. Now, <laughs> I'm not the best at packing, but I, I think everything in here I want for myself. And I'd really like to know from you, if you were to have a sewing hamper, what would you like inside it? Bearing in mind that it's mainly going to be things that are practical, quirky, things that you can actually use and things you will not throw to the bottom of your stash let me know in the comments section below i enjoyed sourcing these different items and packing them together really thinking about the person's personality what they would like and the types of things that would make a great presence for them sometimes presents don't really have to be extravagant they don't have to be over the top or um, overly expensive it could just be the little practical things that you know that would make the person very happy that you know when you put it all together and add a few things here and there it just makes it really personable to be honest that's the sort of thing that i like and i thought i would share this video with you as i said share with me in the comment section what you think should also be added to a hamper like this and i know that there are people who find it useful merry christmas in advance and i hope to share a bit more a few more Christmassy videos with you enjoy the rest of your day everyone and i hope to see you very soon all the very best take care bye